Here at Fort Bliss, straddling Texas and New Mexico, the Army engineers who are working to bring automated driving to the military's trucking units are taking a knee and holding a special ceremony. As the very first automated leader follower trucks are prepared for soldiers' hands, the leaders nurturing the technology want to be sure that their inspiration is never forgotten. So we're taking a tactical pause to step back and to reflect upon all of our collective efforts as a group. Major Andrew Scruggs is the military lead for Expedient Leader Follower, a project within the Army's newly formed Army Futures Command. His teammates are hosting a ceremony to dedicate each of the first 16 autonomous leader follower vehicles to one of 16 fallen motor vehicle operator soldiers who was killed in Iraq and Afghanistan. And so really the reason why we're dedicating these vehicles is because every time we get an engineer, uh, every time we get a government member that's a part of this team, this is complicated stuff that we're doing. Uh, it's a very high level of rigor uh, activities. Um, and sometimes people can get burned out. And, but when they see that vehicle data plate on that truck that they're working on, um, they're going to be reminded of why they're doing what they're doing. After today, the trucks will carry special data plates on them describing the service and sacrifice of each of these fallen soldiers. For Scruggs, today carries an even deeper meaning. Uh, two of the 16 soldiers that are being dedicated tomorrow, um, having trucks dedicated them tomorrow, are uh, two of my former soldiers when I was company commander of uh, the 126 Transportation Company PLS out of Fort Bragg, North Carolina. Uh, I have waited um, many years to be able to not only um, properly honor them uh, and their families, um, and so I'm very humbled that I get to uh, be a part of this opportunity to finally dedicate something in their name to where um, just let everybody know that we haven't forgotten their sacrifices. After today, these trucks move on to more testing, while two other sets of trucks will be delivered to transportation companies at Fort Sill, Oklahoma and Fort Polk, Louisiana in the near future. From Fort Bliss in New Mexico, I'm Doug Hollow.